Hey everyone, welcome back to EMTV. Today I thought I'd show you a method on how to identify and characterize the different AV blocks using only two criteria. Let's go ahead and take a look. Now, although there are only four different AV blocks, it can be very difficult to memorize the characteristics of each one when you're first learning how to read and identify ECG rhythms. The method I use for my student only involves two criteria. So the first thing we'll do is draw a table. The first criteria is PR interval. For the top two rows of the table, I'll identify whether or not my PR interval is consistent or inconsistent. The second criteria is whether or not the rhythm drops a QRS complex. So on the left side of my table, I'll indicate whether or not the rhythm drops a QRS or not. Now let's go ahead and fill out the table. For the top left corner, a rhythm that has a consistent PR interval but drops a QRS complex is a second degree type 2. Let's go ahead and take a look at that now. As you can see, the PR interval remains consistent. However, there are drops in QRS complexes. For the top right corner, a rhythm with an inconsistent PR interval and a drop in the QRS complex is the second degree type 1. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. As you can see, the PR interval here is inconsistent and there is a drop in the QRS complex. Second degree type 1 rhythms will often follow a pattern of a lengthening PR interval before the drop. For the bottom left corner, a rhythm with a consistent PR interval and no drop in QRS complex is the first degree. Now there is a small caveat here, the PR interval is consistent but what makes this different from a sinus rhythm is the fact that the PR interval is long, specifically longer than 0.2 seconds. Let's compare the two. Our normal sinus rhythm has a consistent PR interval and does not drop any QRSs. However, if we measure the PR interval, it is less than 0.2 seconds. When we compare this with a first degree AV block, the PR interval here is greater than 0.2 seconds. And finally, for the bottom right corner of the table, a rhythm with an inconsistent PR interval that does not drop a QRS complex is the third degree AV block, or complete heart block. Let's take a look at that now. As you can see, the PR interval in this rhythm is inconsistent, and when there are times where you can't quite pick out where a P wave is, chances are it's hiding within the QRS complex or the T wave. The R to R interval is completely consistent, however, because if you think about what third degree heart block is physiologically, it's a complete dissociation between the atria and the Purkinje fibers of the ventricle. The AV node is not functional in this rhythm, and it cannot communicate an electrical signal from the pacemaker site of the SA node, which is in the atria, into the ventricles. So each portion of the heart's conductive system is working independently. And that's why the P's do not line up with the QRS complexes or may be buried within them. I hope you found this video helpful. My students like this method of teaching, especially when they're first learning about the heart blocks and learning how to identify rhythms. The heart is pretty strict about the rules that it follows. So if you remember some of these criteria, hopefully that'll help you make a correct diagnosis of a heart block if you're ever faced with one. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure you check out my channel for more and make sure you like and subscribe. Until I see you next, have a good rest of your night. Keep washing your hands and stay safe.